It's been a constant challenge in my work over the last 12 years, both uh, uh, basically everywhere I've, I've worked uh, from the Free Software Foundation to SVLC where I used to be uh, to now a conservancy, I've had compliance as a major part of what I was doing. Our goal is to get people using more free software. Uh, we just want to make sure it's in compliance with the GPL, the LGPL and, and relevant uh, free software licenses. There is a lot to be done, uh, in this, particularly in the embedded market, a lot of vendors don't know uh, that their software in their device at all. Frequently when I contact a violator they, they think that they're just a hardware manufacturer because they got the whole thing from a third party and they didn't know there was software in it. Uh, but our goal when we do it is really to educate and, and I'm happy with the efforts that Linux Foundation is doing to sort of in tandem uh, be on the other side helping doing that education work. And then most of the time when we discover a violation we have a relatively friendly conversation. It's a slightly adversarial process but it's mostly friendly and we get people into compliance and, and they reimburse us for our costs of getting them into compliance and we reinstate their rights to distribute BusyBox and the other software and they go about and continue to adopt free software. So if, from my point of view, if, if somebody comes out of the end of a compliance process not wanting to use free software anymore, that's a failure from the compliance process. The goal is to get them into compliance and get them happy with being in compliance and continuing to use and distribute and modify the software. Mm -hmm.